in this video i'm going to talk about cell cycle control by tgf beta signaling so tgf beta signaling is very important for cell cycle control and this tgf beta signaling starts with the ligand the transforming growth factor beta and this ligand bind to the two type of receptor type 1 receptor and type 2 receptors so basically upon ligand binding so there is a heterodimerization of this receptor and this heterodimerization event is very important for uh, the initiation of these uh, TGF beta mediated signals. So once the ligand bind to this one receptor, other receptor comes in and dimerize from this type of uh, TGF beta heterodimer. And these heterodimer receptors get phosphorylated upon ligand binding. And this phosphor uh, phosphorylated uh, ligand by uh, phosphorylated receptor uh, cytoplasmic tail helps the RSMAD so these MAD molecules these are very important for these TGF beta signaling pathway and these RSMAD molecules that means receptor mediated MAD molecules get phosphorylated now this RSMAD bound with its partner COSMAD uh, entirely migrate to the nucleus and where it will attach with a DNA binding partner and sit up on the gene, on a target gene, the promoter of a target gene, and it will transcribe the target gene. And this target gene mRNA would be produced, and thus the protein would be produced. So what are the target genes for these TGF beta signaling pathway? So basically, as I have told that TGF beta signaling is a basically inhibitory signaling pathway for cell cycle control. So basically, TGF beta will target the genes that will produce CKIs, that means cyclin dependent kinase inhibitors. So basically, TGF beta signaling will ultimately give rise to higher level of cyclin dependent kinase inhibitors. And cyclin dependent kinase inhibitors, uh, for instance, here I have shown that P50, P15, which is a inhibitor of cyclin D CDK4 complex. So it what it will do, uh, it it will inhibit cyclin D and CDK4, and thus inhibiting the cell cycle progression and further growth. So this is how TGF beta signaling works. So experimental evidences show that when TGF beta is applied to the human cultured keratinocytes. Uh, one saw that a uh, 30 fold increase in p15 mrna expression level so that suggests that huge amount of ckis are produced uh, when tgf betas are applied and thus the cell cycle growth is checked and cell cycle progression is checked and also uh, induction in the p15 level is observed so here are some list of uh, ckis that are uh, inhibiting cyclin D and CDK4 complex, basically uh, cyclin, uh, basically P15, P16, P18, and P19. These uh, cyclin dependent kinase inhibitors inhibit cyclin D CDK4 complexes. Others like P27, P21, and P57 inhibits other uh, cyclin CDK complexes such as cyclin. In E and CDK1 complexes. So this is very important in the cell cycle control because uh, uh, the growth or cell division cannot uh, last for whole time. So it have to be regulated, it have to be checked. And this TGF beta signaling pathway basically puts a trigger for uh, cell cycle growth and uh, cell cycle growth and the abnormal cell growth and abnormal cell division uh, that's all please like and subscribe thank you